Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here, this is the question. A 52 years old male attended to the stroke unit with dizziness and vertigo while playing tennis. He is known to have hypertension and a previous myocardial infarction. He now complains of right arm pain. What is the most likely diagnosis? So, in this question, uh, first of all, the patient attended a stroke unit with dizziness and vertigo when playing tennis that means in the exaggerating area that means when body demand increases he is known to have hypertension and previous myocardial infarction and now complain pain in the right arm now we have to find out the cause of this clinical condition here are the options options are posterior circulation infarct vertebro basilar aneurysm dissection of the thoracic aorta subclavian steel syndrome left medial meningeal artery infarct now we have to see some of the picture here we can see this is a picture and this picture this is the arts of aorta arts of aorta gives rise to brachiocephalic artery left common carotid artery and left subclavian artery and we can see there is an stenotic area in the sub prevertebral subclavian artery so in the subclavian artery when there is a stenosis so in case of left side of the body usually don't get any type of the blood any oxygen or food materials for this condition the right side of the vertebral artery it through this artery blood goes to the brain and as through the vertebro basilar system it connects each other so the blood back to the left side and supplies the left side of the body so when there is obstruction or stenosis in the subclavian artery left-sided subclavian artery then right-sided subclavian artery it give brands, uh, blood supply to the vertebral artery and from the one vertebral artery to the basilar artery this blood flows opposite sided vertebral artery and then it finally goes to subclavian artery and finally supplies the left sided of the upper limb so in this case uh, uh, when there is exaggeration or increased workload in this case more more blood passes in the left side so right side there is less blood and also the brain gets less blood in this case vertigo and dizziness develop on the other hand as the right sided blood flow reduced there is the pain in the right side of the head in the second and uh, in this picture here this is the same picture that when the left sided subclavian artery occluded then from the right sided uh, blood comes back into left sided blood through the vertebral artery when it flows to basilar artery so it is the same picture here so our answer is the subclavian steel syndrome in case of subclavian steel syndrome that means the narrowing of the subclavian artery in this case blood flows in the opposite direction so right arm pain develop and as as well as in the brain they get less of the blood and their dizziness and vertigo also develop thank you all